So after years of reliable service, you may notice your intake valve from TFT may develop some leaks. Uh, this is all just due to normal wear and tear and uh, debris in the water, maybe wearing the seat over time. So at that point in time, it's time to do at least a seat kit or a seal kit. And this video is to go over the different families of products and which kit may be appropriate uh, depending on the, uh, the issue you're trying to resolve. This is the ABD series valve, Alpha Bravo uh, Delta. Looks like this uh, has the integrated elbow. Now we have a complete kit for this valve. It is the ABD1520-CRK. Uh, in that kit includes a valve seat, uh, the valve seat where it seats against the ball. We have two hose coupling gaskets for the truck side female connection. This valve can have a five inch or six inch coupling. So we include a five inch and six inch hose gasket. We also include the appropriate cup seals depending on which coupling you have on the hose side. Uh, so there's a four and a quarter cup seal as well as a five and a quarter cup seal. Both may not be used depending on the setup, but you'll have the appropriate one based on your coupling uh, configuration. And then there's a series of O-rings, uh, four different O-rings, a couple of them for seals inside the gearbox, and then one that seals the PRV to the valve body. Uh, there are no internal seals for the PRV in this kit. Those are available individually or through other kits. Additionally, we also include a little bit of our Molly Coat silicone assembly grease in a little bag there. A little bit of that goes a long way. And then the appropriate blue Loctite, a small vial of blue Loctite for resecuring any screws for the gearbox. As we move on, we're at the AB series. Um, this is a now discontinued valve, however, we do still offer repair parts and kits for these. The AB series could have part number prefixes of AB, ABS, uh, AC, or ACS. Uh, the ABs or the ACs have a swiveling elbow, like is shown here. The ABS or the ACS are, the S is for short no elbow, so it'd be a straight valve like this. Uh, you can kind of see the configuration here. This is what an AB series valve would look like if you have one of those and are trying to identify them visually. You will find the part numbers. I didn't mention on this one, but you'll find the part numbers on a tag on the gearbox. Top of the gearbox here, top of the gearbox here and that prefix, those first two or three letters is the prefix that tells you what that valve is. So we have a couple kits for this. Uh, we have what is the A1520 dash kit. This valve just very simply is a valve seat. Again, like the previous one, a five and six inch hose gasket for the female side of the valve. Silicone grease and blue Loctite. The A1520 kit can be shared by the ABD valve. If you're not doing a complete rebuild of the ABD valve and you're just replacing a leaking valve seat, these two valves use the same valve seat. So the A1520 kit can be used with the ABD if, you're, if the valve is just le leaking past the ball in the shutoff position and you're just replacing uh, the valve seat. So for the AB series, we have a more complete uh, kit, which is the AB. 1520-CRK. Same components as the A1520 kit. You have the valve seat and the five and six inch hose gasket. Um, additionally, there is a, a six inch loaded cup seal that seals the swiveling elbow portion of the valve, seals this swiveling joint, or it seals the mate joint where the coupling mate goes into the valve body here. Additionally, there are some O-rings. There is an O-ring that seals the pressure relief valve joint to the valve body. Again, no seals for the internals of the pressure relief valve itself, but the seal that goes between um, the valve body and the, um, the pressure relief valve. There's also a couple O-rings uh, that seal where the gearbox trunnion goes into the valve body to mate with the ball inside. Uh, so two row rings to go in there. What I don't have here, which is included in the kit, the blue Loctite 
uh, because in taking off the pressure relief valve or the gearbox to replace those um, those seals, you will need to re-loctite those screws uh, for reassembly. Moving along, we get into our Jumbo Series. Uh, the Jumbo Series has a lot of different prefixes. Um, visually, the standard Jumbo Series, this is a short one, no swiveling elbow, but you'll see the bulbous side here. That's a good indicator of a Jumbo type valve. Flat on one side, you got the bulbous area here where the ball swings out of the waterway. Same thing here but this one has the swiveling elbow, much like the AB series did. And then we, as we move along, we get into the Jumbo Low Profile series. This is visually the Jumbo Low Profile series where the elbow comes out the bottom and swings up. Uh, the, the Jumbo series shares the same kits with each other. Um, so part number prefixes would be AX, uh, AZ, um, AP, AQ, um, when you're looking at these types, so you have the AX, the AZ, um, AP, and AQ for these style valves. When you get into the jumbo low profile, you'll probably have an AXD or an AXE as an echo. Uh, so those, those are the model number prefixes uh, for the kits we're about to talk about, but those are all part of the jumbo series. So just like the AB series, we have a very basic kit. If all you're doing is replacing the valve seat because it's leaking past the ball, uh, again, a five and six inch hose coupling gasket because these can have a five or six inch coupling. We include these in the kit because you're gonna have to take the valve off the truck to replace the valve seat. So you might as well go ahead and replace the coupling gaskets. And then it has the A1082 seat that goes in there. You can see the smaller valve where these the seats are not cross compatible, so that's why different kits. Um, so again, hose coupling gaskets, valve seat, and some uh, silicone assembly grease. And then the A1082-CRK, just like the previous, includes the same items as the A1082 kit, but has the additional loaded cup seal to go in the swiveling elbow joint, or in the case of a short here, a straight valve, it'll go in the mate uh, to seal the mate to the valve body. And then the same couple O-rings to seal the gearbox into the valve and the O-ring that seals the gear or the pressure relief valve body to the valve body itself. As well as the assembly grease again, the silicone grease and uh, some blue Loctite for any fasteners on the valve. Now, for most of these kits, we do not include any seals for the couplings, where the coupling may attach to the valves themselves, uh, other than some short exceptions. No seals for the couplings, uh, just given the number of combinations uh, that are available, it'd be a lot of extra unused seals in the kits. Uh, those are all available individually if you need to replace those, and you can reach out to us for advice on those or the uh, part schematics for each valve. Um, none of these kits include any tooling uh, for as far as seat ring removal or any of the standard tools uh, to remove any fasteners, uh, but we do have tools available as well. So that's an overview of our seal kits that are available for our various uh, intake valves. Please refer to our instructional videos for instruction on how to replace these seals.